training camp just a couple weeks away, Minnesota Vikings Pro Bowl linebacker Anthony Barr and his mother Lori hosted an event in conjunction with the family's Raise the Bar Foundation. The charity gala was held at the Ritz-Carlton Residences in LA Live, high atop downtown Los Angeles, immediately across the street from Staples Center. Dubbed an evening of perfect pairings, the more than 150 guests in attendance were provided the opportunity to sample a variety of wines from California, Portugal, and Chile, along with catered hors d'oeuvres designed to perfectly pair with the assorted wine. A meet and greet with Anthony, live music, desserts, and a silent auction were also a part of the night's festivities. Midway through the event, Anthony Barr joined iFollowSports.com for an exclusive interview discussing a variety of topics including the mission and inspiration for his foundation, his thoughts on the upcoming Vikings and UCLA seasons, playing at U.S. Bank Stadium, and the differences between his native L.A. and his adopted home of Minnesota. So raise the Ball Foundation. Uh, our mission is to help single mothers who want to pursue, continue to pursue their education, uh, to help them accomplish that goal. And we do that by funding their uh, college, whether it's a traditional college or a trade school or culinary school, for example, um, give them that opportunity to go back to school and uh, get their degree. We're also providing child support or child care if they need some you know, for daycare services or something like that. And, uh, it means a lot to me because I grew up uh, raised by a single mother and I saw the amount of work that she put in and uh, allowed me to be successful in life, whether it's sports or school or, you um, know, just having a play for me at night, you know, so I understand that a lot of people need help and that's what we're trying to do. I'm very excited for training camp. You know, obviously, I think everybody is this time of year when uh, everyone's undefeated and everyone uh, feels good about the season, but you know, I feel really good about this year. I think we have a great group of guys. I, I think we've had a great group of guys. I've been here, um, but now being together for so long, uh, now going to my fourth year, it's uh, I feel comfortable. You know, I feel like I have control the defense, uh, and it's time to have a big year. You know, I feel confident in about their performance at a high level. You guys always are obviously motivated to win the Super Bowl. That's your ultimate goal. Is there a little something extra this year, knowing that the Super Bowl is in your home stadium? Absolutely. I think uh, I don't think a team has ever hosted the Super Bowl and played in uh, the stadium that they're hosting. Um, so. It's, it's a goal of ours. That's not why it's our goal. I mean, it's just a goal because what else are you playing football for if you don't want to win that Lombardi Trophy? Um, very excited to, for, for the city of Minneapolis, you know, so people can kind of see uh, just that side of the city. I don't think people really appreciate the Midwest too much, and especially Minneapolis. I think it's a great city. So hopefully we can go and showcase uh, some of our strong suits, and I'm looking forward to hopefully playing them. I mean, I think they have the most important piece, which is the quarterback, you know, so I think Rosen will have a pretty uh, solid year. I know disappointed that he got injured last year. But I think with him at the helm, um, they got a new offense coordinator, new offense. Uh, should be excited, should score a lot of points, and the defense is always going to be solid. So uh, I'm expecting big things from them, uh, as I do every year. And um, I'm, I see those guys work. You know, they work hard. You know, they're deserving of a good season, so I hope they can get that. I mean, from a player experience, you know, you're not going to find too many uh, better places to play. Uh, the locker room's great. Uh, just the environment. I feel like the crowd is, they're not on top of you, but it sounds like they're on top of you. And the way they built that thing is, is beautiful. It feels like you're playing outside, but you're in a dome mm -hmm. with the glass, you know, especially those afternoon games. And uh, I can't speak from a fan experience. I never experienced anything as a fan. Uh, but from the player side of it, uh, I look forward to playing there every Sunday. I wish we could play there every Sunday. I know we get eight of them, but I wish we could be there 16 games. I mean, other than weather, which is the obvious one, um, I think just the, the size, population size, a uh, pretty big difference. And for me, uh, the driving. Um, driving in the snow is still a challenge for me, so I've got that down. But uh, the speed limits are like 50, 55. And, uh, here the speed limit is like 65, but it really means 80. Uh, there is 55, means 55. So it's definitely been an adjustment driving. Um, but I, I love Minnesota. It's been very good to me uh, and my family. And I hope I continue to be there for a while. This is John Rappaport reporting for iFollowSports.com in Los Angeles.